All right, I'm gonna make a coaster set. It'll be kind of like this, only without glitter and without maybe so much white. Um, so I have my resin all mixed up and I've had it sitting. And I'm gonna do my colors. And I want a, a light brown and a dark brown. In the light brown, I think I'm gonna do this white. Drop of brown ink and see what kind of color I can come up with. Ooh, it looks silver. Look at that. It doesn't look brown at all. Mm -mm. You better dump some brown in. All right, so I yeah, let me have that one. I didn't know it had brown. So it doesn't look brown. I'm gonna add a little bit of this. Oh, see that's if got I... glitter. That's got a glitter effect. Uh, I can't control that. It's it's in there. That's all. And I'm going to do a brown. By itself. Does that look more brownish? Mm, it's more silver. This is called antique copper and it's a kind of a reddish brown. So I'm going to put that in there as well. I love this color. I wish I had more of it. But I'm almost out. Yeah, sometimes I throw them away. I, I have been too, but I didn't realize we were that long. They're easy to come by, so no worries. Dollar Tree has tons of them, usually. Oh, that looks better. Still kind of silvery, but you got a brown tint in there, so I'm going to go with that. So first I'm going to do a little clear in each one. Oh shoot, I dripped. I want to try to make, give them a kind of a marbleish look. Marbleish. I'm not exactly sure what to do with these holes in the holder. I want, um, I want them to look good, but um, it's hard to get colors to mix down in there the way you want them to. So I don't know, I'm just going to try to put some stuff in there and see what happens. start with brown. I'm going to drip a little bit of brown in here first. In each one.
and then I'm going to cover this completely cover the bottoms of each one so that the colors are only going into the clear part there we go My cup's too full, so I can't really pour it right now, so I'm going to do this to get started. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I don't have a lot of clear on here, so I can't really do this. So I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna puddle pour them like this and let them spread out. And then hopefully they'll mix into something that looks good. All right. Usually when I do pours, I do a dark color, a light color. I kind of go back and forth. And I have all dark colors here, so this is kind of um, a new thing. I'm not sure how it's going to come out, but I guess we'll find out. And this seems not level. All right, now I got the red, reddish brown, copper, antique copper it's called. I'll put some of that in here. I love this color. Alright, um, back to the beginning now. 
start over with these colors and go through them all again. I don't know if this is going to work or not because usually when you pour resin, if it's not thick enough when you pour, it, it draws everything right into the center. So this could all end up just being one big brown color in, in the middle. I'm hoping that they stay kind of separate and give a marble, marble kind of look. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I guess we'll find out. I'll do another round of black. These are getting pretty full, so maybe I'm going to have enough to fill them all the way up. If not, I'll have to do a top coat of something on it. That's pretty full. <laughs> I just have a little bit more black and a little bit more brown and I don't really I have a lot of room in these. I'm not sure what to do with it. All right, these are all pretty full, so I'm going to leave it at that and let them cure. We'll see what happens.
And that's it. All I can do now is wait for it to cure and see how they turn out. Thanks for watching and we'll show you the end result uh, when they're finished. Twenty four hours later. Okay, these were done. Um, the backs came out really good. The front looks like that. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see. That's how they came out. Pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.